Hi everyone, this is Marchie from Immunate and I wanted to get back with you on multiple sclerosis and diet. So which one do you think it is? Do you think it's the Walls diet, the keto, the paleo, the Mediterranean, the schwank, the gluten-free, less sugar? I mean there's so many to choose from, right? Okay, so let me go ahead and look at some research that I found for you and maybe this will help um, you on your journey. Um, Dr. Williams, which is a website that I found, is very informative. If you want to go check out her website, um, and it's called Above MS. So she talks about the different diets on there, supplements, and all that good stuff. So she's a, it's a really good website, um, Dr. Williams, and it's Above MS. Uh, one of the research that happened in 2016 from the Multiple Sclerosis and Related Disorders Journal uh, was a low-fat, plant-based diet. And they didn't find what they were looking for as far as the MRIs were concerned, but they did find out that this diet helped with fatigue, body mass index, and biomarkers. So, I mean, that's pretty significant. And um, so that was one of the researches that was done and reported in the Multiple Sclerosis and Disorders Journal. Um, there was a big journal um, article written on the survey in 2018. There was a survey done with the North American Research Committee on MS, and they used 7,000 people with MS in their database, and they gave them the survey about diets. What diet do they use? Um, and they included Mediterranean, Schwank, Walls, and gluten-free, sugar-free, all kinds, whatever the participants put down that they were using. And what it came out to, most people were using um, less sugar and gluten-free. Those are the two um, dietary changes that most people made when they found out they, that they had MS and they were trying to uh, slow the progression down. So I just wanted to let you know that that happened um, just this last year when they got the survey back. Um, and then there was another uh, systematic review done and um, 337 patients were reviewed and they found out that 28% of them chose the Mediterranean diet and 42 tried at least a special diet like Schwank or uh, Paleo. So those are just some research statistics of what percentage is, is doing what with their diet. Um, Dr. Walls that I referred you to the other day uh, watching uh, TEDx, Dr. Terry Walls, she herself was in a recliner, not able to have much of a life at all, and her functioning was very, very low, and she changed to the diet that she's recommended, which is paleo, but it has limitations to it. So if you watch her talk, it's very informative and she could uh, tell you about her story, her journey, and uh, she's also conducting a study against hers and a Schwank's method diet. So uh, hopefully that will be out next year because they just started it at the end of last year. So, or this year, I mean, it should be out this year in 2019. Another thing that I came across, another type of diet I wasn't really familiar with, we're all used to fasting. I mean, you know, we religious uh, doctrines, there's a lot of information about fasting and how it cleanses your body and how it starts resetting the nervous system and, and help you to have clearer mind, clearer thoughts, better sleep, uh, the whole bit about fasting. Okay, well, there is research study out there with MS, about MS, and if fasting would be a benefit to the... Um, people who have MS. And it's not so much just the fasting, they're called, it's called a um, mimic fasting diet. So it's FMD. And they're not, you're not really fasting, you're actually having a diet, but it's, I don't know if it's restricted, I haven't really read what it, what it is all about, but I just ran into it. And it said that it helps promote multi-system rejuvenation enhanced cognitive performance and health span. So they tried this out on mice already 
and it's a mimic diet, fasting diet, mimic fasting diet. And they found out that the um, adipose tissue went down, cancer went down, inflammation disease went down, the immune system and cognitive functions went up, and the lifespan went up. Now, this is just on a mouse diet, um, the mouse uh, study with the uh, mimic fasting diet. So um, you might want to check that out and see what they are talking about. And they say it helps promote, rejuvenate, uh, reduces autoimmunity in multiple sclerosis symptoms. So that's uh, pretty good information on that. And um, I just wanted to say that back in 1868, like over 150 years ago, um, Jean Martin Chacot, gave us the first clear description of MS. And 150 years ago, you would think we would be further along with dietary requirements to help with this disease. But um, in this one article that I found very interesting, and it was in 2015, Multiple Sclerosis International Journal. So uh, therapeutic potential of the ketogenic diet uh, with progressive multiple sclerosis. So this diet has a lot of benefit according to what they have investigated. Um, and they're looking at mitochondria. Instead of saying what comes first, the chicken or the egg, they're looking at instead of the immune system and the inflammation causing degeneration to the myelin tissue, um, and creating plaque lesions. They're looking at it from the inside the cell mitochondria uh, dysfunction. And it's very, very interesting. And they go, okay, if it's not functioning correctly, it's not giving you ATP for energy, and then you're getting fatigued, and one thing leads to another. So this was a very good uh, article. And if you would like to have the article, just let me know. Go on. Um, my Facebook, Immune8, or go to my website, um, immune8.com, and give me an email, margie at immune8.com. So, and I'll be glad to send you the article so you can read it. Um, and that's all I'm going to discuss for now, but I will be doing supplements tomorrow, and I'll talk to you then.